everyone, my name is Katie. I am a fourth year first grade teacher and this is the second part of my latest week in my life vlog. If you missed the first part, I will link it above in the cards. For some reason, I have just been sharing, sharing, sharing and loving to talk about all the things we're doing in our classroom and that has made my videos pretty lengthy. So as I was editing the Monday and Tuesday bits together, it was almost 30 minutes and I was like, okay, that's getting really long. So I just went ahead and cut it off after Tuesday and I'm jumping in today to bring you part two, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, assuming I get footage all of those days. Today is Wednesday. I'm already here. I've been messaging some parents this morning. I plugged in a new scent thing because I know I mentioned a couple weeks ago that our classroom has been stinky and it was yesterday too. I came back in and I was like, oof, it just didn't smell good. And our old scent thing has been out for like ever. So I got that new scent. Actually, David picked it up for me at the store last night, which was awesome. So thanks, Dave. Um, plug that in. So hopefully our classroom will smell good. If you watch the first part, you know that today's going to be kind of interesting. Our morning's going to go pretty normal, but then in the afternoon, we have like a two hour workshop session that teachers are doing. And so we're going to have sub coverage in our classroom. So I made my sub plans for those two hours in the last part of the video. And now we're going to see how the day goes. I do still get my ordinary planning time, which is awesome. Um, and I'm planning to get a couple of things done to stay ahead, just like I was doing in the last part of the video. Um, so I'm going to work on my whole group slides for the week we come back from spring break today. And I'm trying to look at my checklist and math journal questions for next week because I'm running low on math journal questions. And that's about all I have to accomplish this morning. I do have a conference after school today, so I might be checking in a little bit later after school to let you know how the day went or you might catch me in my car or at home um but yeah i'm excited it should be a pretty good wednesday thanks for joining me for part two i'll try to share any wins or any like great things that we did today i'm also about to pick a read aloud because today i'm pretty sure today is dr Seuss's birthday it's march 2nd isn't that um read across america day and like i said in the first part we're not really doing much for that week this week but I was thinking instead of doing the same text that we've been doing in reading whole group after we do our phonics and phonemic awareness, I am just going to try to find a fun book that we have that I can read and just enjoy some read alouds and maybe the kids can like draw a picture or something. Just kind of keep it chill and enjoy a book because they worked really hard on Monday and Tuesday on our wonders text and finding the main topic. So today we might just relax and read a good book. So that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go ahead and start with some of those plans and I'll check in with y'all later. Okay, I had a lot to do this afternoon, so I'm just now picking the camera up. The day went smooth, we got everything we needed to done, sub went smooth, so very excited about that. Um, what I ended up doing for whole group was we read this lovely book, one of my favorites um, by David Shannon, Bad Case of the Stripes. So we read A Bad Case of the Stripes and then we had to go to lunch, but after lunch we talked about how there were lots of things that made Camilla unique and how at the end of the book she learned how she should be her own unique person and not care about what other people think and eat the lima beans anyways. So then I had students fill out an all about me page. Here's my example. And I think their pages turned out so cute. So it was like my name, this is me, the letters in my name, how old I am, my favorite color, my family. There you are, David. <laughs> and then things I love, chocolate chip cookies and coffee, which is kind of funny because I feel like if you had asked me that a little over a year ago, I totally would have put Dr. Pepper in there and not iced coffee. Have my tastes changed? And like, if you knew me growing up, Dr. Pepper's my thing. And I still love a Dr. Pepper. Like I love a nice, ice cold Dr. Pepper here, as the commercial would say. Um, but my love for iced coffee is also growing. Anyways, that was just a tangent. But the students filled them out and then I'm gonna put them in like a book for them to put in our class library over yonder. Um, so they can look and learn about their class family. But I really think they kind of grasped the concept because they were drawing pictures and showing like, look, I colored my hair like this because it's unique and nobody else has their hair like this. And I was like, let's go. And I drew my picture as a model on the board and I was like, oh, it looks, 
it looks the best I can. I drew as good as I could. They're like, Miss Allen, it looks really great because you're a great drawer. You're unique. And I was like, oh, thanks. So that was really fun. And then we had our meeting. Subs went well. Everything went smoothly. We got a lot of stuff done in the workshop. Um, and then I had a conference after school. And then I did a lot of the things, like the action steps after that conference, because for me, I'm like, if I put things off till tomorrow, I'm just going to forget. So I just got a lot of stuff done there and graded papers and that's all. Yeah. And I made a reel, another reel. Um, those are fun. So go follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, because I love to make reels for Instagram. Just brings me a little joy in my afternoon. And now I'm going to head home because it's pretty late and I want to go on a walk with David this evening when I get home. So yeah, I'm going to head home. Just wanted to give you an update because I had all my stuff packed up and I was about to walk out the door and I was like, mm, I never updated YouTube world. So there's your update for today. Um, there's my lovely thumb in the corner. And on that note, I will see you guys in the morning. We're back Thursday morning. Yesterday was a great afternoon. The weather was beautiful. I went on a walk. We got Chick-fil-A with friends. So I should be feeling refueled and recharged today. And I do a little bit, but I'm also very sleepy. The um, <laughs> fatigue from a full week of school is starting to set in on me. And when my alarm went off this morning, I was like, oh, I don't want to get up. Whereas like Monday and Tuesday, my alarm went off and I was like, oh, okay, up out of bed. So <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. Um, hence the reason I brought another coffee today. I have so many of these cups that I got for Valentine's Day. This is, I have three different ones that my students got me. So I've just been filling it with iced coffee. Um, that's gonna help me out this morning, I think. And um, yeah, I'm here not too early setting up slides. You know the drill. I didn't come up to school too early today. I have a couple of things that I need to do like before the day starts. I need to print some math journal questions for my friend who has been working on like picture edition. I think she's ready to do some like regular edition. So I'm gonna make some math journal problems for her to do with that. Um, I have to cut math journal problems for the whole class to set out for morning work because I didn't do it before I left yesterday. And there was something else that I wanted to do. Oh, I want to try to type up a decodable story with OI and OY because all of the ones that I found have like words that aren't decodable for my students yet. Um, and I made one last week for the owl sound and my students did really well with it. It was one that I made, I think I made it last year or the year before actually. Um, but it's one that I typed. So I know that the students can read the words. So I'm going to try to do that again with the oi sound. And I'm going to try to do that before the day starts because I want to use it for rotations this morning. So I'm going to start on a couple of those things. Update, the scent thing smells delightful. So the room smells so nice, which is amazing. And I had to bring, I'm still trying to set up these slides. If you don't have a wireless mouse, you should totally get one because I can control my slides from my teacher table. Um, it's amazing. I also have a wireless keyboard. So 10 out of 10 would recommend getting those. Um, <laughs> I also brought this thing with me today. Another 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're a first year teacher or you don't have one and you're a teacher, you need to get a cutting board. This one's from Amazon. I will link it below. Um, I'm a little sad because the safety feature is broken on it and I didn't know that until this morning. So like it doesn't hook closed anymore. So that's kind of scary. I don't keep it at school. I usually keep this at home because I cut things at home while I'm watching TV or something. But my practicum students, look, it's got paint on it. <laughs> my practicum friends are going to help me today because we're cutting out some sets of cards that we're going to need for after spring break. And it's like the numbers one through 90 in a set. And I'm doing 10 sets. And so I showed it to them yesterday. I was like, don't start. I'm going to bring my paper cutter tomorrow. And so I'm going to have them help me slice those cards up and put them in bags. So I had to carry this bad boy in with me today. Um, but definitely would recommend getting one if you don't have one. That is all. I'm gonna get started with cutting math journal questions, setting out journals, and hopefully typing up this always story and finding <laughs> math journal questions for my friend who's working on addition. So I got a lot to do, so I'm gonna let you guys go and check in later. Here's what I was able to concoct. I didn't, ended up doing it about Buzz Lightyear. So Buzz the Spaceman was stuck at a toy store. 
Um, a little boy went to this toy store. So there, and there's point, it's got an oi. Um, he, the boy pointed, coins, toy, join, toys, toy. Lots of oys. The boy, coins, toy. <laughs> and then he was full of joy and he made him a ship out of tin foil. He played with Buzz a lot at the end. So that's what I made for my oi story. And then what I do is I export it um, as, let's see if I can find it. I export it as a like print file. Oops, that's not it. I just downloaded it, here it is. And then I put like four per page so I can print it out and it can be a story on one page. Now I'm gonna have to print it in black and white for today, but that is okay. Maybe I'll print it in color for another time. But there's my little oi story for small group today. Okay, afternoon update. Today went all right, just all right. The best part of the day was that story that I wrote this morning. Ta-da! Um, I wish I could have printed it in color, but another time. They did a fantastic job reading this story, and last week after they read the cow and mouse one, ooh, I just bumped the whole table. After they read the cow and mouse one, I sent it home to their parents, and I was like, we read this at small group this week. Ask your, ask your child to read it to you this weekend. And so I will probably do the same thing with that story and send it home because they seem to be excited that I sent that in Remind. So I'm gonna do that. That was probably the smoothest part of our day. It's always the smoothest part of our day is small groups. The rest of it is like chaos. They did okay during whole group. Actually, the beginning of whole group was great. We read Dragons Love Tacos today. Let me get that for you. If you don't have this book, you need this one too. Um, I just picked some of my favorites that made me happy because I'm like, it's reading week. I'm not stressing. So <laughs> yesterday we read Stripes. Today we read Dragons Love Tacos. It is so cute. They especially, I mean, obviously their favorite page is when the dragons like blow their fire everywhere from eating the spicy salsa. But they did a really good job listening to this story and I think they really enjoyed it. So that was fun. I did have an activity prepped to use with it. This is what it looked like. Um, character setting problem solution. But I didn't use it. It was a freebie on TPT, so I will link it below in case you want to use it with your class. We didn't get to it, so we might do it tomorrow. I don't know. I was thinking I might read Horton Here's a Who tomorrow because that's one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. Um, so we'll keep, but we'll keep this in mind. Like we might do both. We might just enjoy reading stories. I do have to teach like a real math lesson tomorrow though because I'm trying to stay on pace because I have an observation scheduled for next week and it's on a math lesson. And so I'm going to need to be able to plan like what I'm doing next Monday or Tuesday. So I've got to stay on schedule with math. So we'll see how, how that makes our Friday. But um, we did that for whole group. Then we did our intervention time. I'm working on Magic E, CBC E words with them and they seem to be doing pretty well so far. Um, I think I need to kind of give it to them in some texts because we've been doing it on whiteboards and like roll and read. And they've been pretty successful with that. So I think like it's time to give them like some sentences or some short text to actually apply what they're learning. So we'll be doing that in the near future. And then we did math and math went okay. They kind of struggled when I gave them the buckets of cubes and I was like, count how many cubes? Cause a lot of them were still counting the towers. And they're like, there's seven cubes. And I was like, no, there's not, there's way more than seven cubes. But I had a couple of students that like really got, oh, we're counting by tens. So then I had to go over and scaffold and say, okay, how many are here? 10, if I had another 10, how many do we have? 20. What if I added another 10? 30. And then they were like, click, I'm counting my 10s. So as you saw with the time lapse earlier, I went ahead and consolidated all of the sticky notes on that chart to reflect what we did at the end of math time today. So I'll show that to you. So here's what the activity looked like. I just filled in all of these words because originally we had done it up here on the smart board, but the smart board shut off and did not save, which is fine. So I just recorded what we did on the smart board on our chart and took their sticky notes down. I kind of wanted to leave the sticky notes up. I don't know, I, I'm glad that I took it down because now they can like see the learning. It was hard to read the sticky notes, but we did do it together in class. So we kind of got to like culminate the activity. And this is how I teach them to write their tens. They do like a line and then they have to label it with 10. So they remember that that represents 10. Then it was time for them to get it on their computer and pack up. And so it kind of felt like wild frenzy to get out the door, but we did it. 
tomorrow is Friday and there's officially six days left, six teaching days left until spring break. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for this Thursday. I'm going to finish up a couple things as in just like putting these things back and then I'm ready to go home. Also side note, I have not worn my hair wavy. I wore it wavy yesterday too in quite a while. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the vlog, I just sleep with it in Dutch braids and then I take it out. I, I like shower and it's a little damp. I Dutch braid it and then I take it out and I hairspray it. Um, and I haven't done that like at all this year because I got my hair cut in like December and it was short for a while. It's still short, but um, I was finally like, okay, I think I can braid it. So it turned out pretty good. Yesterday it looked good. Today I tried it with dry shampoo and that's been my like New Year's 2022 thing is doing every other day washing my hair. And I've never done that in the past with the wavy hair before. I think it turned out okay. It's a little messy, but it's second day hair and it's wavy. Usually I only wear it one day with the Dutch braid waves. I kind of like it. It's kind of fallen a little bit. My students liked it too. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but it was interesting to put like the dry shampoo in it and then put hairspray on top of it. So it's going to feel great when I wash it tonight. Totally unnecessary rants, but I just thought I'd give you a little hair update in case you wanted it. <laughs> I know my car is loud and rumbly, but just a moment of appreciation for the fact that it's light outside when I got in my car to drive to work today. Like that hasn't happened in a while. So you can tell that the time is shifting y'all. Time is changing, spring is close. Happy Friday, it is finally the end of the week. I am here way later than usual. As you saw, it was light outside, partially because of the time change, partially because I left later than I usually do. Like when I was pulling out of my house, it was about the time that I usually arrive at school. So I'm just like 15 to 20 minutes behind what I usually am. And I do have a phone conference this morning, so um, I'm gonna have to be brief. I came in and I got my journals set up right away because I didn't do that before I left yesterday. And I was coming in a little later and then I had the conference and I was like, I need to do this right now. So the room's at least ready for when my students get in. Things that we're going to do today. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I kind of know. <laughs> we're gonna start with rotations today. And in our rotation small group, we're gonna do our spelling test. It's been really great to do the spelling test in their small group setting. So I'm gonna do that again. And today we're gonna take it on notebook paper instead of primary lined paper because I'm almost out of primary lined paper. And um, because I saw one of my neighbor teachers was doing it on notebook paper and I was like, I have tons of that, so I should do that. Um, and they're gonna get to pick their center because we've already been to all four of them this week. So let's see if I can show you. You can see down there in the front where I have like the centers. I took the center cards away because they can just choose. They don't have to go to an assigned one today. They can pick their favorite one. Um, then after that I have planning and I'm probably gonna use my planning to figure out what I'm doing for reading whole group. We'll probably do like our normal slides and do some sight words and some phonics like I have on the slides. And then I was thinking about reading another story. We can either read Horton Hears a Who because that's my favorite Dr. Seuss story or we can do the activity for Dragons Love Tacos. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do yet or maybe we'll do the Dragons Love Tacos activities and then read Horton Hears a Who because it's reading week and we're just gonna enjoy reading. So there's that. Um, then after that, we've got snack and intervention and that'll be the same. I'll have to get my math lesson in today so we can stay on track. Um, and then on Fridays, I usually let them have a little bit of free time on the computer at the end of the day during our computer lab time, like on PBS and Prodigy and Teach Your Monster to Read. So that's kind of what the day is looking like. I probably won't pick up the camera like the whole day um, because I just have a feeling it's going to be busy and it's going to start in like 15 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my Friday checklist and make sure I have everything written down that I need to do. That way, when I get to planning, I can plan and do the things that I need to do. So at 3.30, I can go home. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make that to-do list, take care of that phone conference, and then I'll check in with you guys later.
Okay, friends, it is the weekend. Hallelujah. So excited. Um, today was actually a pretty smooth day. We got everything done that we needed to. I did not do any of the things I was thinking about doing this morning, however. Um, we did do our spelling test and our rotations, and I noticed I wanted to take their seat work as a grade today, and they just did not do their seat work. Like, as I walked around, I was like, they're not doing their work. And all, all it was was reading a sentence with oi, with an oi word in it, like, can the pig oink? They copied the sentence and then they draw a picture of it. And it was like, nobody did their work. So I assessed during my planning and I was like, or I like assessed the situation. I didn't give it an assessment. Um, I like assessed the situation and thought, okay, we just need some extra time to do this seat work so they get it done. So I can take this for a grade. And we hadn't been gaining very many units on our Lexia program this week. So I was like, here's what we're gonna do. When they came back, I went over the directions again. I told them that some of them were rock stars and already finished and used their time wisely. And then I said, some of you, not so much. So we're all gonna go check. If you're finished, you get to take out your Lexia on your computer and go ahead and start completing some units. If you are not, you have to finish before you can get onto your Lexia. And that's what we did that whole block. It's like a 40 minute block. And I mean, some of them, it I was like slower than Christmas. And then I just graded some and some of them still weren't finished. I was like 40 minutes is way too long for you to not have copied six sentences. It's not that. And plus they got like 15 minutes during rotation. So I don't know. So that's what we did during whole group. I kind of had to do that to get that grade. Um, so we didn't read Horton Here's a Who and we didn't go back and do Dragons Love Tacos. That's okay, I can save it for next week. Um, and then what happened next? We went outside to the playground. We came back in, we did our intervention group and I started working on a long A text. I've got like two different groups in tier two, some that got it, some that don't. So it was very clear to see like who needed to regroup and who was ready to keep doing some passages. Then we did math, we worked on tens and ones and I introduced the place value blocks today. So they were very thrilled for that. But I started off by putting like 23 connecting cubes on the board and I was like, what is this gonna look like if I change it into towers? And I think there were like two that, that understood it. So then I used like the pen on the board and we circled the groups of 10 and then we drew the picture and then I showed them how the connecting cubes, the picture that we drew and the place value blocks are all the same representations. And then we practice building with place value blocks and writing down the value. Um, so at least we're on track there. And then as they finished that, they got to get on their computer to get on PBS Prodigy or Teacher Monster to read. So that was like our day in a nutshell wasn't terrible. The best part of the day is here is my to-do list. Remember that long list that I wrote this morning? Gone. Because during my planning, I was like, boom, 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 getting things done. Check, check, check off things. Checking, what am I? I don't even know what I'm saying. I was just checking things off the to-do list. Um, so that was really exciting because now all I had to do this afternoon was grade. And I just graded while I was watching Maylene on YouTube, which was very nice. It's kind of like a <sighs> like a relax at the end of the day. And now I'm done. The grades are entered, they're in the mailboxes. And all I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna get my math journals ready for Monday because I still have a little bit of time before I have to leave. Um, so I'm gonna get math journals like cut out and set up. That way on Monday, I can just walk in. Oh, and I gotta swap things on the small group card because right now I have all of the oi things so I need to swap that to be our double o that we're learning next week we're learning long and short with the uh and the oo sound so I gotta go look and see what I can find on that okay so to clean it out I just take all of the plastic folders and then I take out what we were working on this week so here's the story here are the roll and reads that I was working on then I'm gonna spin us over here ba -do -ba -do. come and get some paper clips just in case there aren't any in the folders already Spin us back, woo, don't get dizzy. Um, I'm gonna paper clip both of these. Once they are paper clipped, I begin the long walk across the room to the cabinet that holds all things phonics, which I've shown in my classroom tour, if you're interested in seeing how I organize stuff. Um, this is kind of a mess, let's fix that. I like markers, something's stuck back there. Oh, there we go, okay. There we go. I think I was getting out expo markers this week. All right, now I'm going for vowel teams because it's O-I-O-Y. Um, technically, I think that's like a diphthong, right? But I have it in the vowel teams bucket because I don't have one for diphthongs. And then I'm gonna find the correct folder. So one of them 
is the Roland Reed. So I'm going to place that in the folder that says, um, which one? Right here, word lists. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, I really do need to separate this because this folder is like exploding. But here's the oi sound, bossy R. I've got other things like owl, long I is in here, long A. So all my vowel team word lists go in here where it says word lists. Okay, then I have a folder that says decodable text. Here's our owl sounds that we did last week, one with long I that I've used before, some uh, bossy R ones in here. So I just keep all the decodable text in here. So that's why the Toy Story one is going to go right here in decodable texts. Other things in the bucket since I have it out, this is where all my centers go for long vowels. So like here's our long E center, Here's our owl sound center, more centers back here. I have some little decodable books, like this one, Frog and Toad is long O. Um, and then I have this set of decodable text as well, and all of these are long vowels for the most part, so that's in there. And this is like one full, full bucket. So I probably do need to get another bucket and label one diphthongs and take some of the stuff out of it, but I'll put that right back here and slide it on the shelf. Most of them are pretty organized like that with folders. Val teams are, blends are organized like that, digraphs are organized like that with posters that I used to teach it, and then the folders. Sight words are semi, I mean, there's not any folders, but most of it's semi-organized. Short vowels are organized, CVC words are organized because I just made that a goal this year. I'll tell you which buckets are not. Fluency not organized. It's just kind of a heaping pile of papers. And alphabet is definitely not organized. There's so much junk in here that I use. I used a lot of it last year when I taught my ELs, but I need to organize the alphabet one a little bit better because like my folders with alphabet papers don't even fit in the bucket. So there you go. I have officially taken everything out of my small group cart and I'm ready to put the new things in. That is all I have for this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And especially if you watched part one and part two, thanks for sticking around. Um, I'll try to not be as chatty, but I also love to show you guys the things that we're doing. So as always, comment below things that you like to see because anytime I see a comment and somebody's like, show me the schedule in my next vlog, I try to put in the schedule. Or if they're like, show me how you do this, I try to show it. Um, so if there's anything you wanna see, please comment below and I will show you. Update, there are five teaching days left till spring break. We're gonna make it, friends. We are so gonna make it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That helps my channel out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next one.